everyone again this is mr allen today is april the 30th thanks for coming by hope everyone is safe and today we are doing uh, mass and how force and acceleration affects mass so uh the key concept here is that the greater mass something has is a more force that it needs um to move so let's say if we're having a pebble and table if you use the same amount of force to throw a pebble as you were to throw a table that pebble is going to move a lot further than that table because the table has more mass so the more mass an object has is the more force it needs to move or to accelerate it so um, that's a basic concept but I'm going to go over some questions some scenarios that you're going to see and yeah, we'll break them down together. So um, let's go here. It says a family is moving boxes into their new house. Each box has a label that says which room the box belongs to. So we have each box. Um, the label shows which room they're going to. But the key thing here is the mass. It shows us what the mass of each box is uh, right here. It says the boxes have the same acceleration when the family members start to lift them. Order the boxes labeled to show the size of the force applied to lift each box. So again, um, whichever mass is more, considering they're going to be pushing them with the same force, you're going to need a greater force um, depending on how much mass it is. So the greater the mass is the more force you're going to need to push it. So if I throw a pebble, it's not going to need that much energy. But if I'm moving, let's say, my table in a classroom that we used to have, you're going to need a lot more force. So uh, according to this mass, uh, the bathroom would be the biggest, which is on top. The second biggest would be the family. Dining table would be next. And then the office would be the least amount of force needed because it has the least amount of mass. So let's check it. And we're good. Several drivers are pushing their cars down the road because the car ran out of gas. Um, again, shows the mass of each car. The cars have the same acceleration as the drivers begin to push them. Order the colors of the cars to show the size of the force. So, same as before, if it weighs more, you're going to need more force to physically push it. So, um, biggest one here is going to be silver because that's the greatest number. Second greatest is gold, which is already second. Third is gonna be orange and then yellow. So yeah, the greatest silver, gold, orange, yellow. From largest force to smaller force. All right, some pilots of hot air balloons are getting ready to launch their balloons. Each pilot lights the flame to heat the air in, all, in her balloon. Uh, we're doing buck, this would be K. Then the surrounding ear applies a force to each balloon to lift it up. All right. Each hot air balloon has the same acceleration as it starts to rise, or the colors to show the size of the force applied to each balloon. So, uh, greatest weight here would be the mag magenta, which is right there. The second one would be turquoise. Next, we have violet, and then we're going to need the least amount of force for coral. Okay, so greater mass, more force. All right, second set. A train engine pulls freight cars behind it. The freight cars carry different loads on different days of the week. So these are the different masses. The train engine always pulls with the same force as it starts to move the freight cars, order the days to show the size of the acceleration the train will have at the beginning of each trip. So they switch it on us. They don't want to know what the force is, they want to know what the acceleration is. So again, remember that pebble and a table. If it's a smaller object, if I throw a pebble with the same force as I push a table, that pebble or is push a pebble that pebble is going to go further because it has less mass than the table so now we want to know the acceleration or which one is going to go further so now we flip it so now we know that monday is going to be it's going to have the higher or the largest acceleration 
The second one is going to be Tuesday. After that, it's going to be Thursday. And then last, what's going to have the small acceleration is going to be Wednesday. Now, according, I'm sorry, acrobats are being thrown by a catapult during a performance. The catapult applies the same force to each acrobat's feet. Order the names of the acrobats to show the size of the acceleration the acrobats will have as they are being thrown. So again, this is why in Olympics, they generally want um, shorter or smaller people. Um, yeah, the same as before, smaller mass is gonna move or have a higher acceleration. So the smallest mass here is gonna be Brian or the smallest number. So he's gonna have the largest acceleration. The next one is gonna be uh, Marcy. Next is gonna be Hector. And then last, who's gonna need them or have the smallest acceleration is gonna be Janelle at 84. A child is using a slingshot to launch stones into a lake. Um, the slingshot applies the same force to each stone or to close the stone to show the size of the acceleration. So which one is gonna accelerate more? So again, the smallest mass is gonna give us the most acceleration, which is white. Um, next is gonna be brown. Black, and then lastly, it's going to be gray. Awesome. But yeah, um, I don't want to go through the whole lesson with you, uh, but that's the main focus is if an object has more mass, it's going to need more force. If an object has less mass, it's going to need less force. So that is how mass affects force. And yeah, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to message me or come back to this lesson plan. But that should be for now. Thank you.